This is Coach Lee with MyExpatCoach.com, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question of Does no contact make your ex move on or help your ex to move on? Take a second and click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified when I have more videos that are helpful to your situation, and that includes attraction strategy, relationship dynamics, marriage, and breakups. It also includes information and coaching on mindfulness, which is basically the ability to focus on the moment and not getting too far ahead into the future. It's great for anxiety and people who struggle with anxiety. It helps you be more successful in just about everything that you do in life, but it also helps if you struggle with anxiety. Now, on to the question. Does no contact cause your ex to move on? Or does it help them to do it? The short answer is no, it does not. A lot of people have that concern and a lot of people have even talked to their friends about no contact or something and the friend would say, well, that will just help your ex move on. Well, it's not true and here's why. First of all, if you stay in touch with your ex and you are constantly asking them about the relationship or how they feel or have they had enough time or telling them how you feel, checking in with them, they know what you're doing. So if, if you're just checking in casually with them, just wanting to see how your week's going or just wanting to tell you this, they're going to know that you're still trying to get them back. Their defenses are up and they get it. You're trying to get them back. So this is not something where you can be coy and they'll just think, oh, he just wanted to check on me. They think that your actions are an effort to get them back. So everything you do is under the magnifying glass of suspicion. Keep that in mind. Now, if you are still in contact with them constantly, what that does is it doesn't create any concern that they could lose you or that they have lost you. You're right there just in case. You're easily accessible. You are consistently coming to them. So there's, there's no cause for alarm. There's no concern on their behalf. You are easily available and that will actually help them move on because they don't fear the loss. They don't fear the fall. There's no concern. It's like a safety net. They can move on if they want and if they ever get to that point where they think, oh, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have moved on, I really want to be back with her or back with him. Well, then that's easy because you're right there. So they don't fear moving on because you are easily available, because you're right there, because you're still pursuing, you're still chasing and you're still trying to get them back. They have, if anything, a hall pass. They have free license to do whatever they want because you'll be there. At least that's how it seems to them. I use this example in other videos, but what if I were in Vegas or at some casino somewhere and you told me that I could gamble whatever I wanted and if I lost that you'd cover it, you'd pay for it. I wouldn't feel nervous at all placing large bets on small odds because you're the one covering my losses. I wouldn't feel any fear of loss, not a bit. That's the situation you put your ex in if you won't stay away. When you go into no contact, however, you cause them to question everything. Why are you not reaching out? Are you moving on? Are you not interested anymore? Or has someone else maybe gotten your attention? They also wonder if they do want a chance with you again, that you would give them that chance or not because they're not hearing from you. Maybe you wouldn't. And so there's all kinds of things that can begin to preoccupy their mind related to you because you're not reaching out to them. So you're creating the ultimate mystery, silence. Silence is the ultimate mystery because it's not providing any answers. It's leaving it all up to us to figure out, to rattle around in our minds. And it's there again the next day and the next day and the next day because you are consistent and you are strong in this and you are dedicated to doing this because you know this gives you the best chance. But it, it's also the most mature response and it's the healthiest response for you. It shows respect for yourself. What no contact will do rather than make them move on is that it actually magnifies their doubts because if they feel they have all the time in the world to figure out what they really want, what they really feel, to let those doubts come here and there and there's no pressure to figure it out, then it will ease with time because they don't fear any negative consequences. So those doubts, because of the fact that even if those doubts are correct and they do want you back, that it's easy to get you back and that they could just do that, that it would just be as simple as 
sending you a message or replying to one of your messages, then those doubts become much weaker over time because the consequences, if they are wrong about their decision, are not there because you are there and you are readily available. And so a lot of times people could get their ex back if they would leave them alone, but because their ex never fears the loss, never feels the breakup or the negative consequences of not being your girlfriend or not being your boyfriend anymore, then it's actually easier for them to move on because they don't get to actually deal with what they have done. They don't get to actually feel it because you're still there. And so it's sort of like an artificial prop. It's like a crutch or a safety net and it can actually escort them right into the arms of someone else because they're not afraid of losing you because they can't lose you. You're right there. You won't go away. So I know that it's difficult. I know that you have probably seen other videos of mine and I talk about no contact a lot. There's a reason that I talk about it. I've been doing this for nearly 20 years, thousands of cases. Listen when I talk about no contact, not because I'm some super genius, but because if you had seen this many cases, if you had been doing this this long as well, you would see the power as well of no contact of just simply giving the person the breakup. It doesn't help them move on. If anything, it makes it much harder because they have to come face to face nearly right away with the consequences. And so any doubt they have is magnified. Any crack in the armor is widened. If they miss you now, that is even in greater strength because they don't know when they'll see you again or when they'll hear from you or if they'll hear from you or if they could get you back. So you see all those things, especially if they do have some concern, would you take them back? It feeds all of those other feelings of missing you, of wondering about you. If they doubt that you would take them back or not, it makes the others even more powerful because everywhere they turn in their minds when they think of you is a negative and they can't get peace with it and it will keep them preoccupied. It will keep them up at night and it will raise attraction again because some of attraction is tied to the fear of loss and if you think about that you'll see that it's true if you imagine this person at the moment you probably feel even much stronger feelings for them since they've broken up with you and that's a frustrating thing because to the outside observer that person could say well why do you want to be with them they left you and yet you want them more intensely than ever before it's because of that fear of loss. In this case, loss, because that's what's happened. They've taken themselves away. And so don't underestimate it, that if you take yourself away from the situation, it puts a magnifying glass on every doubt that they have. It puts a magnifying glass on when they miss you because it feels far more serious if they don't know if they'll ever see you again than if they just think, I miss him, but I'll probably hear from him in a few days, or I miss her, but I'll probably see her next week because she's going to come up and say hello. So just like in dating relationships, it's a lot easier when you see light at the end of the tunnel. But when you're not hearing from the person at all, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. It's darkness. It's just this void. That's what we want to happen because that's total mystery. And how many times have you heard someone say that being mysterious is attractive? Well, it's true. And no contact is the ultimate mystery. It doesn't help them move on. It makes it much harder. Now this is, of course, not considering if they had someone else while they were with you and they've already developed that relationship. That's not what I'm talking about. But if they didn't and they have just broken up with you, it's more difficult for them to move on if they're not hearing from you for the reasons that I've stated. So. Trust no contact. I have a video about that, as a matter of fact. And I discuss this in great detail in my emergency breakup kit. And I also provide a lot of things you can do during no contact that really make your efforts to get your ex back more successful and more powerful. So check out the link in the description below to get to my emergency breakup kit. If you've been dumped, it's a weapon in your arsenal to get your ex back. It's terrific content and I hope you'll check it out. It's in the Description below, you'll see the link to my emergency breakup kit. No contact does not help your ex move on. It slows them down, makes it more difficult, and it makes it 
much more likely that they will reach out to you. It won't happen all at once. They won't reach out most of the time. They won't reach out and say, I miss you. I want to get back together. Usually it's more casual than that. And I go over that in my emergency breakup kit, kind of how to interact with them when they do start reaching out to you. Because most of my clients end up having the problem of dealing with their ex and interacting with their ex when their ex starts reaching out again, because no contact is that effective. So I hope this video has been encouraging for you. If you're in no contact, keep it up each day. You're making it a little more difficult on them. You're drawing them a little bit closer to you. Thank you for watching. This has been Coach Lee with my expatcoach.com. Please subscribe to my channel with the button below so that you can be notified when I have more content that's helpful to your situation. And that includes attraction, that includes marriage, relationship, dynamics, mindfulness, and breakups. This has been Coach Lee with my expatcoach.com. Thank you for watching.